in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Dina Tanmeer from the BS Biochemistry Department and today I am going to present an experiment. Before starting the presentation, I would like you to share the contents of the presentation. These Here are the six contents. These are the statement of the experiment, the apparatus used in the experiment, its procedure, calculation, the conclusion of the calculation and its applications. The first point to know is the statement. In this point, we will know what we have to find in this experiment. The statement of the experiment is how to make 500 milliliter of 0.5 molar solution of an acetic acid by using density method. The purity of the acid is 96% and the density is 1.06 kg per liter. First of all, in this point, we have to know that what is acetic acid. Acetic acid is also known as the ethanoic acid, ethylic acid, vinegar acid, and the methane carboxylic acid. Its formula is CH3COOH. Its molar mass is 60.05 and the boiling point is 118 degrees Celsius and the melting point is 16.6 degrees Celsius. Moving toward the next point that is the apparatus that is used in this uh, making of the molar solution. First of all, we have to know that what is apparatus. The technical equipment that is needed for a particular activity or purpose is called the apparatus. The apparatus used in the making of the molar solution is the beaker, pipit, and the volumetric flask. The next point is the procedure. First of all, we have to know that what is procedure. A series of the action that is conducted in a certain order or manner is called procedure. There are the four points of the procedure of making of molar solution of the acetic acid. First of all, we have to take a beaker and fill it with 200 milliliter of distilled water. Now we have to add 29.45 milliliter of the 96% of acetic acid in the pipet. 29.45 milliliter is the molar volume that we have calculated in the experiment. The third point is we have to mix it well. And the fourth point is to add the solution in the volumetric flask of 500 milliliter up to the mark. The next point is the calculation. While we are doing the calculation of an experiment, first of all, we have to know about its given data. Here are the three data given. That is the molecular weight, specific gravity, and the percentage of the purity. Its molecular weight is 60.05 gram per mole. Its specific gravity, that is the density, is 1.06 kg per liter and the percentage of purity is 96%. The formula by which we have to calculate the volume we use here is the density as we have to calculate it, it by the density method. Density's formula is measure of volume as we have to calculate the volume. So we will shift the formula that result in the mass over density. By adding the... Uh, amounts of the mass and uh, density we get the molar volume of 56.6 milliliter here the molar volume of 96 percent of acetic acid is 56.6 divided by 96 so we have to calculate now 100 percent of the acetic acid that's the molar volume we will multiply it by 100 that result in the 58.9 milliliter by the statement we have to uh, we have known that uh, here is the molar volume or here is the 0.5 molar of the acetic acid so we will multiply the answer by the 0.5 and it will result in the 29.45 uh, milliliter of the molar volume in and the next point is the 1000 milliliter of the molar solution is equal to 29.5 4 5 or 5 milliliter of the acetic acid divided by the thousand we know from the statement that we have to calculate the 500 milliliter of the molar solution we will multiply it by 500 that result in the 14.7 milliliter of the molar solution of 500 milliliter of the acetic acid that is the conclu final conclusion of the experiment moving toward the next point that is the conclusion or the result of the experiment it is 14.7 milliliter of the acetic acid that uh, purity is 96 percent is dissolved is in 500 milliliter of the solution in order to get 0.5 molar of the acetic acid. 
next and the last point is the applications as we know that we are calculating the molar solution so i will explain the molar solutions applications first in this application we have to know that why we use molar solution when the material is dried and we have to analyze it chemically we use molar solution how it is used a specific amount of the chemical that is a solute is dissolved in order to get the solution of the required concentration or uh, that is the molar solution applications of the acetic acid are as followed as we know that our dilute solution of the acetic acid produced is uh, then known as the vinegar it is used acetic acid is used in the preparation of metal acetate in the production of plastic in the production of uh, photography film and the textiles it is also used as a solvent of resins paints and the like as we know that it is used as a metabolic intermediate so it will also occur in the naturally in the body fluid and plant juices that's all from my side thank you